everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm4975 and finally we have got a release trailer for the new 2020 December GTA Online update. It looks absolutely awesome. What you've just seen is the trailer that Rockstar released just today, a couple of hours from when I'm recording this video. So today what I want to do is just do a quick trailer breakdown. I'm not going to be going too in-depth. Um, but I wanted to just show you the trailer which you're all seeing right now and also just look at a few screenshots that I took throughout the trailer and some of the things that they point out to us um, at this very early stage and also look what Rockstar tweeted on their Twitter page just a little while ago. So Rockstar says on their Twitter page, prepare to infiltrate the most remote island compound of the world's most notorious drug dealer in Grand Theft Auto Online's biggest, most daring and action-packed yet, the Casio Perico Heist. I'm not sure if I pronounced that right, but that's basically what they said. And then they said the Casio per per Pericio Heist, I'll get that right eventually, is the biggest GT Online adventure ever, introducing an all new exotic heist location, which is obviously the new island, with a brand new approach to heist design that features the ability to play everything solo or with up to three other players. So we'll be able to do this heist completely solo if you're a solo player in GT Online. You can do this without having any randomers, which is really, really nice. I'm, I'm glad they've added that because that gets really annoying. But you can also do it with up to three other players as well. So if you have a bunch of friends and you want to check this out, then you can do that as well. Plus, you can acquire new vehicles and tactical weapons, experience new social spaces to dance and party with your friends, and new world-class guest DJs and listen to the new radio station with over a hundred new songs. Oh, and a very large, very versatile and very heavily armed submarine HQ with plenty of other surprises. So we'll probably be getting some more information over the next coming weeks, but there's a lot of stuff to break down there. So let's just start at the beginning. Um, I want to look at this screenshot first. This is uh, the first sort of screenshot we see in the trailer and it's just basically like a little cove on the beach. But something that's quite interesting is the little sort of tents that you can see on the beach. They are a completely new prop in GTA Online. And it did mention about a new place to dance and sort of chill out. So my theory is that there's going to be like beach parties which is really, really cool. That's a really nice part of the game. That's going to be really fun. Then we move on to my second screenshot. And this is sort of like overlooking the ocean from this like terrace. This like uh, beach property terrace. And my theory with this is either this is the um, compound that we're breaking into. Or this is a purchasable sort of mansion on this new island. Personally, I think this is the house we'll be breaking into, but if it is a new beach mansion, that will be really cool as well. Then we move on to the next screenshot. Now, I took this screenshot because it basically gives us an overview of the size of the map. And you can see it's actually a pretty big map. A lot of people were saying that it was going to be quite a small map. And I've seen a few people saying that it's going to be a heist only, only accessible area. I highly doubt that Rockstar is going to go through the effort of making this entire new map with all the new mechanics and everything just to have it accessible in a heist. I am 99% sure that this will be accessible in free mode as well. And I've seen a few people saying that this is a paid DLC. No, it is not a paid DLC. It is 100% a free DLC. Um, the only thing that I will point out is it's probably going to be quite a large update because they're adding a whole brand new area to the map. But it does look really, really cool. So let's move on to my next screenshot. And again here, we just get to look at the size of the map. And it does look pretty big, I'm not going to lie. There's some boats coming in and out, sort of docking 
which is really, really cool. And then we move on to the next screenshot and we see basically the drive to this Casio Perico and a plane in the sky, which makes me think that there is a runway. Um, so there will be uh, the capacity to land on this island if you want to fly there. Um, which is really, really nice. So you can travel there by boat, you can travel there by plane. But then I just want to sort of go to my next shot, which is basically the same shot, but then we get a look at one of the new vehicles. Now, this little vehicle down here in the bottom left appears to be some sort of classic Willys Jeep, which we don't yet have in GT Online. This does appear to be a new vehicle which looks absolutely awesome. I don't know if it's going to be weaponized. That hasn't been revealed yet, but it does look like a new vehicle, and to me it looks like a classic Willys Jeep. And then we move on to the next picture, where we see some more new vehicles. We get a look at the Patriot Classic, which is absolutely awesome. This is returning from GTA San Andreas and a very fan requested vehicle but then the vehicle on the left as well appears to be a barracks of some sort it's kind of like a barracks classic if you will um, but it appears to be like an old army sort of barracks vehicle which looks absolutely cool um, then we move on to the next screenshot and that is the new submarine HQ I feel like this is going to work similar to the MOC and Avenger. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to drive it yourself. Um, I think it's going to work more like how the yachts work, where there'll be a captain and you can choose where you want to drive the vehicle to. There'll be some set locations around the map. Um, but you will be able to launch stuff from here. This is possibly where you launch the new heist from. Um, so... You'll probably have to buy this submarine to launch the new Casio Perico heist. Um, but it is a really cool location to have like a heist HQ. And then the final screenshot I want to have a look at here is the end uh, sort of screen. And it does confirm the release date December 15th. So we are less than a month away now from the new GT Online DLC. Just over three weeks and that's really really cool i'm really excited for this dlc it looks absolutely fantastic i'm really glad that rockstar finally released uh, an update trailer because i've been well a little bit out of my mind trying to figure out when it might release how big the map's going to be thinking of new vehicles and stuff um, but there's a lot of content to unpack. I am going to be doing a spending spree on day one of release. So if you want to see that, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. That is going to do it for today's video. I hope it was useful for some of you. And uh, make sure you keep your eyes peeled on the Rockstar Newswire because there will probably be some screenshots of new vehicles and new information releasing on there. Um, and I'll course be covering that here on the channel as well but thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one